Hi folks, hope you're okay today, it's good to be with you. I just want to talk about the genocide uh, in the Middle East of Christians and the silence of the West and political leaders uh, who have not done anything about it and not bothered about it and how it relates to Islam and the hypocrisy of Islamic apologists and the hypocrisy of Western political leaders. We all know that it's an absolute fact that Christianity was uh, in the Middle East, that in uh, Syria there was a strong Christian community and in Iraq. Those communities have been decimated. They have been murdered, slaughtered, pillaged, sold into slavery, um, raped, you name it. And we're not talking about 50,000, we're not talking about 100,000. We're talking about millions of Christians in the Middle East. The West likes to talk about the Uzizi women and um, and how they've been discriminated against and I'm totally for that because the West likes to think it's uh, progressive and feminist and all the rest of it. But the West has not talked about the genocide of Christians. People have mentioned it a little bit but there's not been no real uh, condemnation, proper condemnation and anger uh, and banging at the doors of uh, political leaders in the UN and in Europe and in America and in the United Kingdom to end this genocide. Um, and to me it shows you the intellectual bankruptness of the West and of Islam. The Muslims uh, say that Islam is a peaceful religion Yet, in the name of Islam, in the name of Allah, these ISIS people have slaughtered and butchered the Christian communities throughout the Middle East. It's no good saying that they're not Muslims. They're getting their source for what they're doing from the Quran. The Quran teaches that in war you can crucify people. The Quran teaches in war you can have your hands chopped off. And the West... Um, silencing uh, criticism of, of Islam by calling people who criticize Islam as Islamophobic. It's not being Islamophobic, it's just being uh, truthful with the facts. You and your postmodern culture don't want to face the facts. I challenge anybody to go and read the Quran and find out what the Quran teaches about war and war is splattered all over the book. And the Muslims can try and spin it and say it's all about peaceful war. But if it's about peaceful war, what's all this crucifixion of, of your enemies all about? The fact is the West is a total joke. The West is an absolute sham. The West is an absolute disgrace. It's allowed genocide on its watch. It's not doing anything about the genocide to Christians. In fact, how shameful and how disgusting that the West, if you look at the refugees uh, that have come in into the West, how small a proportion of them are Christian and the vast majority are Muslims and yet it's the Christians who have been slaughtered and persecuted, raped and pillaged throughout the Middle East and yet they were never given proper asylum in America and in Western democracies. Shame on you West, shame on you, you disgusting, evil, wicked leaders of the West for allowing such a disgusting, barbaric act on your watch and you never did anything to help the Christians uh, find refuge and hope in Western democracies absolutely disgusting and shame on you and shame on the Muslim communities around the world that have not condemned this and come out and helped and protected uh, the Christians that have been decimated in the Middle East so don't come to me as Muslims and say Islam is a peaceful religion because it's not you're blinded the, the Muslims convince themselves absolutely convince themselves that Islam is a religion of peace all the bombings, the, the vast majority of bombings that are happening are from Islam. The vast majority of murders that are that are happening in the streets of the West is from Islam. And whenever there is a, an isolated uh, right-wing reaction, they're not Christian. They aren't following the Bible. They aren't following Jesus' teaching. Jesus doesn't teach about retaliation. Okay? 
But in the Quran, it's full of, of teaching about revenge. It's full of teaching about retaliation. Okay, so there's there's no comparison between Christianity and Islam. So the reason why I'm making this video is because I'm just sick and tired of Muslims saying all oh, Christians do evil things like uh, the Ku Klux Klan, the KKK. They're 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 Christian, and you know it's just it's just absolute nonsense. The fact of the matter is the West is in denial. The fact of the matter is Islam's in denial. You're in denial that your own Quran teaches slaughter of people. You're in denial that in the Middle East, millions of Christians have been slaughtered and it's been in the name of what? Allah. That is the fact. And the, and the Western democracies are in denial because they're so wrapped up in the shameful, disgusting rejection of the Christian faith and going into immoral, evil, wicked and vile sexual immorality in the West. You're so immoral and so wrapped up in that immorality that you're blind and you're leaders of the blind and you cannot see what's happening uh, to the Christians in the Middle East. And you're so shameful and so disgusting, uh, wrapped up in your cocoon, your political cocoons at Westminster and in European Parliament and, and even in, in Washington that you can't see the evil that is being done and you're not willing to do anything about it absolute disgrace the lot of you the BBC if I had a chance should be shut down um, every politician that's in Parliament should be kicked out of the UK Parliament and in America and in Europe you don't deserve to be politicians you don't even deserve to be leaders of these nations because you're an absolute disgrace you've sold the West out you're destroying the West you're an absolute disgrace the lot of you and if I had the power, I would kick every single one of you politicians out of Parliament, every single one of you politicians out of Europe, every single one of you politicians out of um, America, and I'd organise a new election, and I'd have people put in parliaments around Europe who will actually stand up for Western values, Western democracy, and will actually go, go and sort out the genocide that's been going on, and allow the tens of millions of Christians that are, are homeless in the Middle East to come and find homes in our Western democracies rather than allowing millions of Muslims to come in and many of them you don't even know whether they're jihadist or not absolute stupidity, dumbness, daftness, idioticness you're an absolute disgrace the lot of you every single one of you politicians are an absolute disgrace and I'm ashamed of you I'm absolutely ashamed of you and you should be ashamed you're, you're a disgrace the way you've treated Tommy Robinson. Absolute disgrace. You don't treat the jihadists like that. We have 20,000 jihadists on our streets. You don't treat them like that. You don't arrest them. You don't put them in prison. But you, you will hound Tommy Robinson from left to right. You will hound him and hound him and hound him. You will demonise him and demonise him and demonise him. But yet you won't do that with the jihadist. Instead, you send them on holidays to Acapulco and you give them a million pounds in compensation. That's what the government of Canada have done. Absolute disgrace, the lot of you. The Canadian Parliament, you're an absolute disgrace. Absolutely disgusting, the lot of you. Absolute shame. I'm di I'm di you're a disgrace, the lot of you. I'm, I'm just disgusted with western governments and western parliaments and western politicians you're an absolute disgrace the lot of you absolute disgrace you need to repent and come back to the bible you need to repent before the wrath of god falls upon the west the west is heading for anarchy the west is heading for civil war and you know what you absolutely deserve it the way you've treated the christians in the middle east you absolutely deserve it for going down this sexual immoral nonsense that you've been taking the west absolutely disgusting you're a disgrace you're a sham and you 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 have no integrity at all the bbc has no integrity parliament has no integrity 
the politicians in America don't have integrity, European Parliament don't have integrity, you're an absolute disgrace and, and I'm telling you right now that your parliaments are going to be uprooted, root and branch by God. The wrath of God is coming upon your parliaments and upon your governments and will be rooted and decimated and you will be in civil war and you will be destroyed totally and utterly for the absolute nonsense that you've been propagating the last few years in the West. You need to sort yourselves out before the wrath of God comes and the wrath of God is coming upon your parliaments, upon your nations, upon your governments for the evil that you are propagating at this present time.